Our planet is a living, breathing entity, a dynamic force of nature constantly reshaping itself. From towering mountain ranges to vast ocean depths, the Earth's power is awe-inspiring. In the heart of East Africa, we witness this power in dramatic fashion, as the African continent slowly tears itself apart. This is the East African Rift, a geological wonder stretching thousands of miles, where the Earth's crust is thinning, stretching, and ultimately breaking. Imagine a crack in the Earth's surface, a colossal fissure extending from the Red Sea all the way down to Mozambique. This is the East African Rift System, a place where the very foundations of the African continent are being rearranged. Here, deep within the Earth, powerful forces are at play, forces that have shaped our planet for millions of years. The Rift is a stark reminder of the immense power hidden beneath our feet. It is a place where molten rock pushes up from the Earth's mantle where volcanoes erupt with fiery fury and where the ground itself trembles and shifts. This process of continental rifting is not unique to Africa. Millions of years ago, similar forces tore apart the supercontinent Pangaea, creating the continents we know today. Now in East Africa we have a front row seat to witness this incredible geological drama unfold before our very eyes. To understand the forces shaping the East African rift, we must delve into the Earth's interior, this journey takes us deep beneath the surface, where the true power of geological activity lies hidden from our everyday view. Beneath the planet's solid crust lies the mantle, a layer of hot, viscous rock. This mantle is not static, it is a dynamic, ever-moving layer that plays a crucial role in the Earth's geological processes. This mantle is in constant motion, driven by convection currents that transfer heat from the Earth's core. These currents are like giant conveyor belts, moving the mantle material in a slow but relentless cycle. Floating on this dynamic mantle are the tectonic plates, massive slabs of rock that make up the Earth's lithosphere. These plates are the puzzle pieces of our planet's surface, fitting together in a complex and ever-changing mosaic. These plates are in perpetual motion, albeit extremely slow, moving at a rate of just a few centimeters per year. Over millions of years this slow movement can result in significant changes to the Earth's surface. It is this movement that gives rise to earthquakes, volcanic eruptions, and the formation of mountain ranges. These dramatic events are the surface expressions of the deep, unseen forces at work within the Earth. In East Africa, the tectonic plates are not colliding or sliding past each other. They are moving apart. This divergent boundary is a unique and fascinating aspect of plate tectonics. This process, known as rifting, occurs when the Earth's crust is subjected to tensional forces, causing it to stretch and thin. As the crust stretches, it becomes more susceptible to breaking and fracturing. As the crust thins, it becomes brittle and eventually fractures, creating a rift valley. These valleys are the visible scars of the immense forces pulling the Earth's crust apart. This separation of tectonic plates is the driving force behind the East African rift. The rift is a testament to the dynamic nature of our planet, constantly reshaping itself over geological timescales. The Nubian plate, which carries most of the African continent, is slowly moving eastward, away from the Somali plate, which carries the Horn of Africa. This movement is a slow but powerful process, reshaping the landscape over millions of years. This separation creates space for magma, molten rock from the Earth's mantle, to rise up and fill the void. The rising magma is a key component of the rifting process, contributing to the formation of new crust. The rising magma does more than just fill the gap. It fuels the volcanic activity that is a hallmark of the East African Rift. These volcanic eruptions are both destructive and creative, building new landforms even as they reshape the existing landscape. Volcanoes like Mount Kilimanjaro, Mount Kenya, and the Erta Ale volcano in Ethiopia are all products of this ongoing geological process. These majestic peaks are the surface expressions of the deep, powerful forces at work beneath the Earth's crust, constantly shaping and reshaping our world. The year 2005 brought a stark reminder of the powerful forces at work beneath the surface of the East African Rift. This region, known for its geological volatility, witnessed an event that would be etched in the annals of volcanic history. In a remote corner of Ethiopia's Afar region, the Dabahu volcano, dormant for centuries, roared back to life in a spectacular display of fire and fury. The eruption was not just a local event. It captured the attention of geologists and volcanologists worldwide. The eruption of Dabahu was not just another volcanic event, it was a dramatic illustration of the ongoing rifting process. This process, where tectonic plates pull apart, 
is gradually reshaping the landscape of East Africa, creating new geological features and altering the terrain. Preceding the eruption, a massive rift opened up in the Earth's surface, spanning a distance of over 60 kilometers, or about 37 miles. This rift was a clear indication of the immense tectonic forces at play, forces that have been active for millions of years. This massive fissure, visible from space, was a testament to the immense power of the tectonic forces pulling the African continent apart. The sight of such a vast chasm in the Earth's crust was both awe-inspiring and a stark reminder of the planet's dynamic nature. As molten lava spewed from the volcano it flowed into the newly formed rift, creating a fiery spectacle that could be seen for miles. The glowing rivers of lava illuminated the night sky, providing a breathtaking yet terrifying view of nature's raw power. The eruption lasted for several days sending ash plumes high into the atmosphere and forcing thousands of people to flee their homes. The ash clouds disrupted air travel and posed health risks to the local population, adding to the challenges faced by those living in the affected areas. The 2005 Dabahu eruption served as a wake-up call, a stark reminder that the geological processes transforming East Africa are not just theoretical concepts confined to textbooks. These processes are active and ongoing, with the potential to cause significant changes to the environment and human settlements. They are real, they are happening now, and they have the power to reshape landscapes and impact human lives. The eruption highlighted the need for better monitoring and preparedness in regions prone to such geological activity. The Dabahu event provided scientists with a unique opportunity to study the dynamics of continental rifting in real time. Researchers from around the world converged on the site, eager to gather data and observe the unfolding geological phenomena. By analyzing the seismic activity, measuring ground deformation, and studying the composition of the erupted lava, scientists gained valuable insights into the forces shaping our planet. These studies not only advanced our understanding of volcanic activity, but also contributed to the broader knowledge of tectonic processes and their implications for the future of the African continent. The East African Rift is a landscape in transition, a dynamic region where the Earth's crust is being pulled apart by tectonic forces. This rift is a testament to the power of geological forces to reshape the Earth's surface, creating dramatic landscapes that evolve over millennia. As the continental plates drift apart, immense forces are at play, slowly but surely altering the terrain. The land in between these diverging plates subsides, gradually sinking lower and lower. This subsidence creates a series of valleys, each one a unique feature in this ever-changing landscape. Some of these valleys are among the deepest and longest in the world, stretching for hundreds of kilometers. These rift valleys are often dotted with lakes, some of them freshwater, others highly saline. Lake Tanganyika, the second oldest and second deepest lake in the world, is a prime example of the rift's impact on the landscape. These lakes are not only stunning natural wonders but also vital ecosystems, teeming with life. They support a diverse array of plant and animal life, from microscopic organisms to large mammals. As the rifting process continues, the land will continue to subside and the rift valleys will deepen becoming more pronounced over time. This deepening is a slow but relentless process driven by the forces of plate tectonics. Eventually seawater from the Red Sea and the Indian Ocean is expected to flood the rift, creating a new ocean basin. This new ocean will be a significant addition to the world's geography, altering the map as we know it. This process will take millions of years, but the geological groundwork is being laid right now, before our very eyes. The formation of this new ocean will have a profound impact on the geography of the African continent. The Horn of Africa, currently a peninsula, will eventually break away to form a large island separated from the main African landmass by a vast expanse of ocean. This dramatic transformation will not only reshape coastlines but also influence weather patterns, ocean currents, and the distribution of plant and animal life. The new ocean will create new habitats and migration routes for marine and terrestrial species. This dramatic transformation will not only reshape coastlines but also influence weather patterns, ocean currents and the distribution of plant and animal life. The new ocean will create new habitats and migration routes for marine and terrestrial species. The East African Rift is a living laboratory, offering scientists a glimpse into the processes that have shaped our planet for eons. Researchers from around the world come here to study the rift, 
gaining insights into the Earth's past and future. The East African Rift is not just a geological feature, it's a window into the Earth's dynamic history, a story written in stone and time.